when everything started, when they started looting and just burning the tires, burning the cars, shops, and etc. Who, whose responsibility was that to say, stop, we don't, we don't do that? Uh, Fairfax was LAPD's responsibility, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills called us very early mm -hmm. and we took care of business and we, uh, they did not burn How down. How many troops did you, did you deploy? We had to Beverly Hills, probably about a hundred plus. And their goal of the Antifa crowd that had hooked up with Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. was to basically loot and torch uh, Rodeo Drive. Yes. Because they're going for symbols of capitalism and wealth. They're rallying and crying, well, let's not do like 1992 and target South LA, where we live. Mm -hmm. Let's burn the white man's wealthy neighborhoods. So they went to Rodeo Drive. They went to the Citadel. And we found them at the Citadel. We arrested a bunch of them. Nothing happened there. So where we took action and were proactive, nothing happened. But you couldn't take action before you get asked to do this, right? Well, I, at the very beginning, I was assuming that the chiefs of police would be proactive and take action immediately until we found out that wasn't the case. Once we realized that, oh, these people are deer in the headlights, they're not taking action, screw it. So I told my deputies everywhere, wherever there's a riot, anything, go get them. Don't worry about local jurisdiction. Don't report to local chiefs of police. No, we're going to assume the entire county is our jurisdiction for purposes of quelling any riot. We're not going to get anything grow out of control. Once we did that, the whole thing was over. Do you have an answer why the police departments did not take action at all? They were afraid of their, uh, of their city council, their political leadership. That they're going to defund those police departments? Uh, well, they were. The LAPD at the time got defunded $150 million under Eric Garcetti, mm -hmm. um, the one they called Yoga Pants. And he, um, he caused them to lose $150 million. He took a knee in front of the protesters. The chief of police took a knee in front of the protesters. And I'm like, oh, hell no. And That's I'm, anarchy. Exactly. That's straight from the movies. And I said, no one's going to have, I'm not taking a week for anyone except for the man upstairs. Amen. And, uh, but they asked me, hey, can you come help us at Fairfax? Because it grew out of control. There was more protesters than they could handle. And that was the first time LAPD ever asked us for help. And we were like, sure, no problem. So we sent a whole mobile field force there. They took care of business. They think they ended up arresting like 800 people, putting them on buses with the flex cuffs and all that. And that pretty much ended that. And there were protests later on during the week, but they were organized, they were peaceful. We, you know, worked with LAPD and the CHP, made sure the traffic didn't, you know, get in the way or harm the people marching. And that's, that's fine. That's what the First, America, First Amendment is all about. But this whole thing is putting on, you know, uh, padded, you know, armor and shields and face masks and all that stuff. That's like you're playing NFL football. That's not protesting. Mm -hmm. And those people, we targeted them because they were engaged in criminal activity. And that was the difference. As soon as we said, go get them, they went and got them. So defunding the police department means what? 150 millions? Well, that was LAPD. LAPD. So that means a lot of stuff, stuff is going to is going to lose their jobs or you're going to you're not going to get the equipment that you need guns vests for yeah for LAPD that's what happened there for our department they did a lot worse because LAPD ultimately reversed course and kind of restored the funding our department they just they took out 145 million one year 116 million the next year they removed 1281 positions from my budget and then they imposed a hiring freeze which is the worst thing of all, because once you put the hiring freeze, people still retire, but we couldn't replace them. Mm -hmm. So our numbers just started shrinking very quickly.